Hello, hello. I am at the Bring Your Own Vehicle that's sponsored by Bob Wells and Howa Home on Wheels Alliance. And all of these folks here have had vehicles that have been built out completely at no charge to them. So why don't we say we go and talk to a few folks and see how they enjoy their new bills. Boy, not only do we get to see vans and beautiful bills, we get to hear great music. Keeping my head up best I can Moving around the country in a worn out sedan Matches the shoes that I wear so well Look like this when you walk through hell Hello, Ryan. Hi. You are here at the Bring Your Own Vehicle Build. How did you hear about it? Um, it's actually a kind of a crazy story. Um, I was in Lovell Canyon camping out about a year and a half ago, and uh, some lady had trouble with her van. Mm -hmm. I helped her out with it, and then uh, I noticed that her van had a bunch of stuff done to it and built out and solar, and I was like, wow, where did you get all this stuff? So she introduced me to Bob Wells' website and, and how and all this stuff like that, and uh, I looked it up, and uh, I didn't see her again for a year and a half or so, and then I looked on the internet and applied for this thing, and. Came down wow. here. And actually, I was here at the building and I was leaving and I saw her. She has her storage here and she came by to get something out of her storage. Oh. Her name is Mariah. So, yeah. It's a small world, isn't it? It is, it is. You know, yeah. you were telling me that you initially got involved in van life out of necessity, yeah. but you were saying that it's turned out to be a blessing to you. You want to explain that? It has. Um, I, unfortunately, like, you know, the housing situation I was living in at the time, you know, I, I, I didn't have a place to stay and it all happened so I, suddenly and I, I thought, you know, now I got to live into a van, but you know what? It's it's been a blessing. It's you know, it's to have my home wherever I go and I'm, you know, and have be sheltered and whenever I needed to is, is I love it. You know, it's, it's I wish I'd have done it sooner. I wish you know, I, unfortunately, I wish I'd done it sooner. And you were telling me you have no plans to go back. No, 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 I don't. It's, it's not a temporary thing for me. I'm, I've, I've not. I'm not. It isn't stressful to me. This is you know, like I said, I, I feel free, more free doing this than I have in a long time. So. And who's your little companion? It's Gizmo. Hey, Gizmo. <laughs> well, let me look in real quick sure. and see what was done. Now the floor was done for you? No, the floor um, is, is a work in progress that I've started after that. Oh, okay. It's from, actually from the advice that I got from the guys here doing here. So, so Oh, okay. They did the ceiling okay, and so the they, walls. So they did the ceiling, the wall, and is that a vent or is that a fan? It's a fan. A fan, yeah. okay, so a fan. And then you were telling me also that um, they did solar for you, a they whole did. solar package. Let's yeah. go look. Solar's on the other side over here. Let's look at your solar get up. This was a generator in here before, a gas generator. But, uh -huh. um, it was pretty uneconomical and didn't make a lot of sense. So I donated it to somebody here and then we um, even installed the solar inside here. So. so you've got, oh, you've got all the components. I see it's even fused. And, yeah. I mean, it's done. Dude. Wow, it's a done thing. Yeah, it's nice, all self contained in here. Nice. I mean, I can, I can pull the wires out in the bottom without opening this door. And it's, you know, keeps the heat and wires out of my way. It's great. You were telling me that this is, you feel like now you're in a luxury mobile. I do, I do. Coming from what I had, I mean, I couldn't even charge my phone or laptop or anything before. Now I've got, I can. I have all this power, but it's like it's it's an upgrade for big time for me. So I mean, you talk about you know being humble. Yeah, it's great. Wow. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Ryan, and we'll catch you down the road. Thank you. See you guys. We're gonna go on to catch up with someone else here and see what they had done. Well, we now have Elizabeth, and as you can see, Elizabeth had several things done to her van, and she's gonna share a little bit about that. Hi, Elizabeth. Hello. Well, tell me, how did you find out about this? bring your own vehicle build. Oh, definitely from following Bob Wells. Okay. And what exactly was done and how is it going to change how you live in your van? Well, I had a floor put in. A okay. Beautiful floor. Oh, that is. And you were saying that's linoleum. Yes. And it's that's beautiful. Yes, I like it. It looks like wood. It does beautiful. look like yeah. wood. Oh my goodness, who's this little and my little Sadie. That's my my <sighs> Eight-year-old oh, travel adorable. companion, best friend, yeah. <laughs> and then they put insulation and a ceiling in my oh, van, okay. which is amazing because now I can't tell with the temperature. It's so nice and oh, it's very it cool makes a big all difference. The time. Wow. Absolutely, and 
they put a ceiling fan in, which oh is another goodness. huge difference. Yeah. And what people don't even realize is that you can keep, in this particular fan anyway, you can shut the vent uh -huh. and turn the fan on and it'll circulate the air inside. Oh, so you wow. you don't have to have the vent open. Just so once you get it cool, you can keep it circulating. Right. Yes. So yes. now, did they do, I see, um, they did a solar system too. Yes, they did. Um, I'll show it to you if you want to go to the Okay, back. let's go back. I'll go back around the back. We're going to go back and we're going to look at, sorry I'm a little bumpy here, but we're going to look at Elizabeth's solar system here. So I got a 200 watt solar system. Oh. This is my solar panel, which is double this size. Wow. It's actually folded in half, weighs about 40 and, pounds, but wow. I can handle it. That's a nice solar yes, panel. Yes, it is. And um, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but I have... The whole, oh, half, and you got the AG. Half of it's up here and half of it's down so here. So you got yeah. the AGM battery. I did. Okay. Yes. And then they hooked everything up for you. Yes. And, oh uh, my goodness. It's, it's fabulous. I got a refrigerator donated to me the first day. Oh, you got a refrigerator donated too? Yes. And that's enough to run your refrigerator too? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yep. So and you're so you're really set. For the first time in a long time. So, so now, how long have you been living in your van? Two years. And so now, and this is the first time you've had these amenities. Yes. Okay, yep, so more I, bags and bags and bags and bags of ice. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, and You're we'll catch you down the road. We will catch you down the All road. All right. Bye bye. Hello, Amy. Hi. Amy is crying, but she's crying some good tears. Can you tell why you're crying? Because all I needed was a refrigerator because I just eat fruits and vegetables. Oh, uh, and and someone just donated a refrigerator to you. Yeah. You know this van life nomad community is the kindest, most generous one, isn't it? It's amazing. It is. It was donated to someone else. And mm -hmm. then I was like, that's the third refrigerator, no way. And then he just gave it to me. Wow. Well, now what what was done for your van? You wanna go around back and show us? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna see. I got the floor done. Oh, that's, oh, and linoleum and again. I'm is, loving, yeah. I'm loving that it's so easily maintained yeah wow and then i got a bed frame that i can actually remove it's okay. made with donuts and oh then... yeah so you got so it, it sticks into there yeah. and then you can just take it out when you want to and break yeah. it down or if i need to raise this to get something under okay and then everyone signed it <laughs> everyone signed it how cool is yep. that Oh my goodness. I'm like, I need everyone's love on here. Oh my goodness. Now, and then you got, did you get, um, you got, oh, I see you got a 100 watt solar solar system. And so was it a, an electric, I'm, I'm sorry, was it a, a separate generator or was it an AGM battery? Um, I believe an AGM battery. It's a Blue Eddy. Oh, Blue Eddy. Okay, so it's a separate system. And then you have a, a panel that connects to it. Right. Oh, wow. Now, is this the first time you had an electric system here? not had solar. I've waited in line for showers to, so I could keep my stuff plugged in. Wow. All kinds of crazy stuff. So you'd get the shower to get the hot water? No, I would shower. I would go to the shower or plug it into someone else. But I would go to the shower and then I would let everyone go ahead of me, like if there were people waiting, uh -huh. so that I could sit there and charge my phone and oh, my okay. battery pack. So it'd be like two hours. So it's like you, so actually even charging your phone was a huge ordeal. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so now how long have you been full time in, now what is this vehicle that you're this in? This is a Honda Pilot. Okay. And how long have you been in it? And this only January. I downsized from an extended van to get better gas mileage. Okay. A lot of people are making, you know, some adjustments because of gas. Now, what brought you to be on the road and in a vehicle? Um, Oh, I was going, I was born in Florida and I love Oregon. So I was just doing trips okay. around and then I was like, this is stupid to get a hotel room and blah, blah, blah. I need to get, I just had a car at the time. Okay. So I got a minivan and okay. the engine blew on that too. <laughs> and, oh, um, cool. So then I got the extended. Oh, anyways. Yeah. I just thought it would be a lot easier if I just... I want to travel. That's all I want to do. So Okay. So it's out. easier to just live in your vehicle and travel. Yeah. Well, you have been blessed, it sounds like, and you sound like you're so grateful and happy. So I'm happy for you. But we'll see you down the road. Okay. Bye-bye. Well, thank you, Jeffrey. Oh, my goodness. 
thank you. And you were telling me you wrote that? Yes, it is. <laughs> wow, Globies, is he? Do you have a YouTube channel or somewhere? I do we not. I am completely off the grid. <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, you may right be on here, the right now. You may be on the grid after this. Yeah, <laughs> So Jeffrey, you're at the Bring Your Own Vehicle. Yes. yes. And what is your vehicle here? I have a O2 Explorer. And you also, you're a painter. I'm looking at these paintings. Yep, I do paintings. Uh, so you're a painter, a musician, a composer. And I like to do photography also. And you were telling me you also run cow, run cattle? Yeah, uh, cattlemen for two months out of the year. Oh my <laughs> yeah. gosh. Well, yeah. let's go look and see what you've got in here. Good folks at Home on Wheels Alliance set me up with the floor. Wow, that's beautiful. It's a vinyl. It's not attached, so I can remove it and replace it if I need to. And they did a hinge, so you have a storage yeah, under here. A little storage, so I can get to my spare tire and a little bit of storage. Yeah. Wow. Oh my goodness. And did they do anything else for you? And they gave me a Blue Eddy. Oh, a Blue Eddy. Okay. <laughs> so, so is this the first time that you've had power like that? Yes, in about three or four years. So it's been quite the difference. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, you know what? I just, I'm still, I'm looking at your van, but I'm thinking about your music. So can you sing us out of this video with a song? Yeah. And this is Jeffrey and Jeffrey, if someone wanted to hear your music, where would they go hear it? Uh, Eugene Saturday Market is my favorite place to play. In Eugene? <laughs> yeah, but I don't have anything online. I'm just gonna, just right here. <laughs> okay, well let's, let's hear it as we go out with Jeffrey from this event. Here's a couple other vehicles that have been, had beds and things done to them. But I think we're gonna focus right now on Jeffrey. She grew up in an Indiana town and a good looking mama who never was around. But she grew up tall and she grew up bright. Many other boys in the Indiana night. She moved down here by the age of 18. Blew the boys away, it was more than 18. I was introduced to him both time. Girl. Said I think you be, but I gotta keep moving on. Keep moving on. Keep moving on. Oh, I hate that we have to leave, but we have to leave. Bye, Jeffrey. Bye. We'll catch you down the road. See you later.